is new at 11 in tonight's health alert. New concerns about a rise in tick-borne illnesses. And as News Center 5's Liz Bruner reports, we're not talking about Lyme disease. Too many deer plus wet spring weather, the perfect recipe for a bad tick season this year. So bad that tick-borne illnesses are already spreading across the state at alarming rates, and not just Lyme disease. We need to remember that there are two other infections transmitted by the same ticks. Called babesiosis and anaplasmosis, or HGA, they're carried and spread by deer ticks too. And although less common than Lyme, their numbers are rising. So far this year I've seen, we've seen more cases of the one of the other kinds than Lyme disease. The latest numbers? Babesiosis cases in Massachusetts are up 53% in one year. Anaplasmosis cases up 49%. Both are dangerous if not caught early. Babesiosis infects red blood cells the way malaria does. Anaplasmosis often causes the white blood cell counts and the platelet counts to go down. Like Lyme, both have flu-like symptoms, including fever, fatigue, and achiness, which makes it hard to tell the three apart, except for one major difference with babesiosis and anaplasmosis. There's no characteristic rash. Anaplasmosis can be life-threatening without immediate medical care, and symptoms usually come on suddenly within a week or two of being bitten. Babesiosis is a little more tricky, with very mild symptoms or sometimes none at all. Even worse? And you can get more than one infection at the same time. Not exactly reassuring. Unlike Lyme, you don't get a characteristic rash, uh, you have flu-like symptoms, and so really you have to kind of rely on the fact that you've been exposed to ticks, you live in tick country, uh, you have a persistent illness that you can't explain, you have to think of this mm -hmm. as a possibility. Then you can do blood tests which will give you a firm diagnosis. Liz Bruner, News Center 5.